Carolyn Still, a very warm welcome to Field Mill and congratulations on your appointment this morning. What are your first impressions of the club and indeed your first thoughts after accepting the role now as Chief Executive? Well, firstly, I'd say it's a huge honour and privilege and uh, I feel really enthusiastic about the role and I think that's mainly to do with the people that I've encountered so far, even today. The enthusiasm and the passion and the determination is, is there. What are your primary aims here? I want to make sure that people are enthused and that the vibrancy that the club's experiencing continues and that everybody knows what their individual role is within the business. At the moment, the strategy perhaps has been put in place but needs developing and I really feel that I have the determination to take that to the next level. And indeed, you're looking to streamline the business, as you say, um, ultimately to make it a better experience for the fans, I'm assuming. Of course. I mean, ultimately, the fans are the heart of the football club. Without the fans, there's nothing there. The support, the enthusiasm has to stay. Um, I want to bring in initiatives that are going to drive the business forward. But without the support of the fans, that can't happen because everybody has to be on the same message and that is to make the club self-sufficient and to continue the success that we're experiencing at the moment with the emphatic 5-0 victory on Saturday. I mean, the buzz around the ground was infectious. I mean, there's no getting away from it. It is a difficult role trying to reduce the deficit that a club at this level has. How well equipped do you think you are to be able to deal with this role? I'm going to draw on all the experiences that I've had so far. I'm simply coming in with a passion and enthusiasm. What expertise will you draw upon, if any, from the fashion industry where you've worked for some massive brands? What will you take from that business and implement into this industry? I absorbed a lot of useful information whilst there and strategies can be utilised between fashion, football. It's a business at the end of the day. Naturally, people will perhaps make comparisons with Karen Brady. She, of course, was 23 when she took the post of Chief Executive at Birmingham. You're 29. Do you make such comparisons? I think the comparison is obviously there. I think she's steely determined and she, at the end of the day she turned around a football club that wasn't doing very well that's now doing e extremely well and is continuing to do so in her new role. I do see a correlation and uh, I think although having a 29 year old female will attract publicity to the club, essentially she had the business brain behind it and she had the strategies and she had the enthusiasm and really that's very important within any business environment. Let's talk about the topic of the ground now of course we don't own Phil Mill at present uh, the chairman John Radford um, whom you'll be working very close with he as you know is currently in negotiations to try and purchase the ground from the landlord Keith Haslam Will you be involved or are you involved already in such negotiations? Of course. Um, and I want to develop them and move the whole situation on as quickly and as smoothly as possible. Because at the moment it's hanging over everybody and negativity achieves nothing. And I, I think that people need to realise that really the fans are the most important part of this business and without them the club can't function and Field Mill is the home of the Stags and I think to take it anywhere else would be a real shame. How confident are you then that you, using presumably your negotiation skills, that you can wrestle this ground back along with John Radford into our hands? We'll do it. You have some incredible people, business brains, behind the club and I think really things have to move on swiftly. It's been going on for far too long and sometimes you have to break down the legal wranglings, negotiations and just get to the bottom. 
the home of the Stags is Field Mill, and I, real, I think it would be a real shame to lose that. What are your immediate priorities? I'm going to observe and listen, and I want to know what each individual person's role is within the company, and I want to make sure that they're doing that as efficiently as possible, and to streamline and really make the most out of the club's resources, which are already stretched. I'm simply taking my knowledge of business and I want to implement changes because really whether you like it or not if something isn't working you have to move on and you have to change it whether that be IT facilities whether that be the way the caterings run things must change we can't do the status quo anymore. Carolyn Stoll thank you. Thank you.